Hi, my name is Naman, and in this video, we're going to be vibe coding a full application with the Claude Opus 4.5 AI model. Anthropic just released Claude Opus 4.5, and it has unreal coding capabilities for building applications. In this video, you're going to see how good Opus 4.5 is at UI design, building a full stack application. You're going to see its coding speed, which is absolutely insane. And I'm also going to show you how good it is at debugging errors in the code. We're going to discuss what makes Opus 4.5 so good and all of the new features that come with Opus 4.5. All right, so let's get started with building our full stack application with Claude Opus 4.5. So I'm here in Cursor, and in the model selector, I've picked Opus 4.5 as my AI coding model. There's also Opus 4.5 thinking, but for this video, let's go with Opus 4.5. Now, what app are we going to build? We're going to be building a startup valuation predictor, which is going to be an extremely good looking app that takes in basic startup metrics and data, like revenue, growth, team members, and all sorts of things like that. And on the basis of that data, it is going to predict an estimated valuation for the startup. So it's a very basic idea, but it's going to allow us to test Opus 4.5's coding capabilities. So let's write a prompt for this idea inside cursor for Opus 4.5, and then let's start building. Okay, so we have our prompt in cursor. It's the same prompt, build me a startup valuation predictor that is extremely good looking. I want it to run in the browser and the app should take in basic startup metrics and predict an estimated valuation. All right, so I'm going to hit enter and let's get started with building. All right, so you can see that it's planning next moves. This is normal cursor stuff. And all right, let's wait for it to present something to us. So it's saying I'll create a stunning startup valuation predictor for you. Let me build a beautiful, modern, single page web app with a distinctive aesthetic. So now it has to do's here. And this is something that is really impressive. So you can see that it's coding at a very, very impressive speed. This is a speed that a human developer can never, never match. And this is going very, very fast. So the first thing it's doing is it's creating an HTML structure. This is very fast. The coding speed, in my opinion, is very, very impressive. So we can see that this coding speed is absolutely amazing. Um, it finished 250 lines of code in HTML pretty quickly. And now it started the CSS. And now it's done. This is just a couple of minutes. It's been only been a few minutes. And this is 900 lines of code, almost, of CSS, and 250 lines of HTML. And this is very, very impressive. This is an amazing speed. And now it's coding in JavaScript, and it's doing exactly what it said it would from the to-do list. So it's following the to-do list, it's writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it's going to polish the app, add animations, it's doing everything by itself. This is amazing. This is pretty cool. And I'm really impressed by the coding speed. I'm sure you guys are as well. 900 lines of code in less than a minute and 250 lines of code in less than a minute as well is very, very impressive. Okay, so it took around five or six minutes and it wrote over 1,600 lines of code. This is amazing. And you can see everything that it's saying over here. So it's saying the app is complete and working. I tested it successfully, so it even tested the application and the calculation showed a $135 million valuation for a startup with $5 million of annual recurring revenue, 200% growth, and a bunch of other metrics as well. And so it's saying that we've built a startup valuation predictor. This is all of the stuff that it has. And now let's run it. So what I'm going to say is I want to run this um, within this. So I'm going to say, can you please run it on localhost for me? Okay, so you can see that I told it to run it on localhost for me. And now we can see the app that Opus 4.5 has built for us. And this is an extremely good looking app. So you can see that it has a very nice color scheme. We can scroll down and it has everything that we asked for. So now we can enter ARR, MRR all of the basic startup data points, and it has animations. This is all pretty cool stuff. So I can move this um, to further year over year growth rate. This is a very high level, good looking application that it's built in just a couple of minutes. So you can see that I can enter in my team size, which is the number of people, the funding stage, if it's series A, series B, pre-seed, and the industry sector, are we in AI, are we in SaaS, are we in e-commerce, and then we calculate the valuation. And it even tested the app out for us. This is a pretty decent app that it's built in just a couple of minutes. This is absolutely amazing. This is a pretty good model. I think, you know, this is great. I've seen a lot of first impressions of a lot of different apps being built with it. So this is amazing. Claude Opus 4.5 has built a very decent application for us in just a couple of minutes. So what happens when I click on methodology? Let's just wait for that to load. All right, when I click on about, nothing happens. So this is a great opportunity for us to debug. Now let's see how good Claude Opus 4.5 is with debugging. All right, so now let's test out how good Claude Opus 4.5 is at debugging the code. So I'm going to say when I click on 
methodology um, tab. All right, when I click on methodology and about, nothing happens. Please fix this and debug this. All right, and I'm going to hit enter. And now we're going to get to see how good Claude Opus 4.5 is at fixing these issues. So the two things we're going to check is, first of all, how long does it take to fix this? And second of all, does it actually fix this or does it get stuck? Let's see if it even gets what we're trying to say. So, all right, so it's saying, I see the issue. The navigation items are just span elements with no click handlers or content sections. Let me add the methodology and about sections with proper navigation functionality. So it um, added three lines, removed. Okay, so it took about two or three minutes to fix this entire issue, and now it's saying the navigation is now fully functional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit refresh, and it should work now. So I click on methodology, and it takes us here. And you can see this is very, very nice. I mean, even the way that it presents the pages slowly, this is very cool. And all of this text is actually relevant to the app. So why we built this, all of this is pretty cool. So you can see that it's very, very smart. Opus 4.5 is much smarter than I expected. And this was very fast. This was two or three minutes. So I didn't have to do anything. It was all by itself. I didn't have to do a single thing after that one prompt. I told it this, and it fixed the entire thing for me. And now both of those pages are working. This is just a bit of a glitch, but you can see that it's loading. So now we have this. We also have methodology. And so it's actually explaining the algorithms and the math behind the startup valuation prediction, the algorithms behind it, how it works. So this is all really amazing. This app is a much better app than a lot of other models that I've used. We've built the same app with different models on this YouTube channel if you want to check that out. But the point is that this is a much better app than most models that I've worked with, most AI coding models. So I would definitely rate Claude Opus 4.5 much better than a lot of other models out there. The first impressions from a lot of people are that this model is one of the best coding models, if not the best coding models out there right now. So if you guys want to check out Claude Opus 4.5, you can do that in Claude Code, in Cursor, and start building because this is amazing. All right, so we just saw Claude Opus 4.5 build a full application for us. The UI design was out of this world. It was better than ever before. An origin black color scheme, glass morphisms, amazing stuff. It was a very, very nicely styled UI. And that was just in one prompt. We didn't even add any iterations, any revisions. In one prompt, it gave us such a good UI design. And we saw the coding speed. So 1,700 lines of code, almost 1,700 lines of code in a couple of minutes. That is an insane coding speed. And we also saw that it was able to debug the issue in our application from just one prompt. We gave it one prompt, and it fixed the entire thing. So that is also amazing from Opus 4.5. Now, there are a lot of new features that come with this update. So Claude Opus 4.5 now has endless chat in Claude. So you can uh, talk a lot. You can keep talking because the context window will keep updating and you don't have to worry about that anymore. So you can talk as much as you want. You can plan as much as you want. All pretty cool stuff. And it's actually now one third of the price of Opus 4.1. So that is a very, very lucrative offer from Anthropic. All pretty great stuff. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to check this out, you can check out this link where Anthropic gives you more details about this. I mean, I'm just a fan of Anthropic. This video isn't sponsored or anything. This is all some pretty great, amazing software that they're releasing. So this is all pretty cool stuff. You can check out the benchmarks. You can check out all of this. If you guys want a separate video on the benchmarks or analyzing some of the features, we can do that as well. But that's pretty much it. Peace.